Hello, active traders, and welcome to our Trade Mastery Success Formula Coaching Preview event. I'm Ken Calhoun, your host, coming at you here on Thursday, October 11th. Stock market crash in progress, and I am in the money. My trades are doing great because most of my capital in my trading account is short the market, right? I'm shorting the market by going long the inverse ETFs with PL proof of having done so. Anyway, we're going to take a look at the coaching program, how it can help you. Uh, take a look at our current market charts, see what's hot, and answer questions that you might have. As always, all information is for educational use only. I'm not making advice about what to buy, sell, or hold. And by watching this, agree to not make actual trades. Bum, 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 bum. You may have seen me all over the universe. You may have seen me at the Traders Expos. I'm not doing it this year. You may have seen me in every single month's issue of Stocks and Commodities Magazine and my trading on momentum column for years now. Highly recommend that you guys should all subscribe to that because you can read a good, clear article from me every month, plus some really good content from other contributors as well. You may have seen me in Vegas with showgirls and lots of traders at my live Trade Mastery events, which I miss doing. I miss seeing you guys in person. Traders cheering out loud when I do my events all over the place. Anyway. I cheer out loud when I say how much I freaking traded, 4.9 million in a single year. And this, I, I get it, this is a long time ago. People are asking for more current examples. That's why I've been documenting a lot of my trades from say today and yesterday and last week and all the rest of it. So, but I'm a very experienced trader and I'm here to help. If you do have questions, ask them. And I'm almost done with the PowerPoint, so never fear. We're not going to go through a lot of points. Anyway, trading is a lot like making a phone call. No matter how hard you try, if you're wrong by just a single digit, you fail. And the single digit in stock trading is small stops. The key to success in professional trading is throw a lot of darts at the market, take little itty bitty tiny microscopic stops when you're wrong, and let the winners run and scale in and position size. Build your trades when you're right. That's kind of it. That's There's no holy grail. There's no magic indicators. There's no, you know... Magic green arrow, red arrow indicator that tells you where you should buy and sell. Your goal as a trader is to trade based off the math, not the chart patterns. The chart patterns are helpful, but ultimately it comes down to the P&L and the math. So tonight we're going to look at tips for how improving how you trade, current market chart examples, which I like to spend most time on, how the coaching program can help you, how to avoid mistakes in your trades using charts the right way, etc. And that's kind of it for the PowerPoint. See, that was quick. Let's take a look at, first of all, the stock market had a big epic drop, right? Big sell-off, day after day. If we look at our daily 90-day candlestick chart, you can see we lost the 200 simple moving average, which is a critical technical support level. And I was telling my traders in my live trading room that too. It was at the time it was still here. I said, if we lose and stay under the 200 SMA, watch out below. So watch out below. If you want to make money as a trader, you can't hold on to things that are going against you. You've got to play not only reversals and breakouts and breakdowns, right, but also you know where institutional money flow is going. And that's the type of thing that I get out in the coaching program is giving you a trading system. You know, for example, okay, so the stock market's going down. And because of that, or correlated with that, we've got a uptick in our gold instruments. And so that's a sector or an industry group that's especially strong. One that I'm currently strong long in is the inverse ETFs, like VXX, TVX, and others. This guy ran from 25 to 49 to 50. It doubled in the space of two weeks. For those who may have uh, less... Uh, less experience. This is my favorite current darling of the inverse ETFs, S triple Qs. It's the triple leveraged inverse NASDAQ, the Qs, and it's up from 11 to just under 15. And this kind of chart makes sense to trade because you can scale into it or add to it or build the trade over time. So those types of charts and these type of approaches are one thing that you want to learn how to scan for. And that brings us to the coaching page. And you can get to it by going to trademasterysuccessformula.com or trademasterycoaching.com or this and those all lead here all roads lead to Rome and you can see trade mastery success formula and before we look at that here's the screen cap for my fidelity today I'm up 846 on a day where a lot of people you may have a red account 
If your account is in the red, I won't say shame on you, but were you listening to me at all this past two weeks when I said to short the market? Right? Anyway, these are this is kind of my approach to trading that if you sign on board with the coaching program, I'll teach you more in depth about is what I call very much a small ball or pilot trading approach. Like my colleague Tom Sosnov would say, trade small, trade often. I completely agree. This is like really, really small. It kind of takes it to the extreme. But I like to trade small and trade often. I trade wide, not deep, is how I say it. The same thing. Any professional trader, we're going to tell you guys the same thing. Most of you screw up by trying to pick a holy grail indicator, over trading it, over leveraging for your account size, waiting far too long to get out of the trade if it goes against you, if you ever do, or trading without a stop, losing your shirt and getting pissed off. And so if that's that was me back in the 90s and I learned but I learned the very very freaking hard way how to do it the right way. And one of the things that I learned about successful trading is it, it's all about front loading with really tight entries. So, you know, I bought like 50 shares of a $3 stock or whatever, right? So, or no, I'm sorry, that's the sell order. About 40 I have a uh, order in for 40 shares of a $5 stock. All these orders, only a few hundred dollars. They're like a bottom fish bounce attempt in American Airlines at just a few hundred dollars worth. If I stop out for a two-point stop, that's going to be all at 20 or 30 bucks, maybe $50 if I'm wrong. If I start to martingale or scale in, you know, for example, let me show you. What I'm explaining to you is position sizing and careful risk management and keeping your stops as small as possible. So I bought American Airlines way down here. Now, that may not be a good idea, but if it's not and it loses 30, I'll take a one or two point haircut on just a few shares. So it's not going to cost me anything. If, though, it does at some point bounce, uh, bounce, baby, I'll double down over and over and over again. So I may be in five or 600 shares deep by the time it gets close to my exit target, which either mean reversion pivot or the full range uh, and make a nice, healthy chunk of change. Or if I'm scaling in, let's say I start off initiate a new trade. And Barrick, let's say, let's say I buy the 1280 and I buy again at 1380 and I buy again at 1480. I'm going to start off real small, magnify or amplify or build your trade over time. But you want your front end risk to be as small as possible. That's why I'm adamantly opposed to these young people who are saying trade penny stocks or cheap under $10 stocks with thousands of shares on the front end because that blows your risk reward numbers right out the window. You're risking far too much. You know, if you trade 3,000 shares of something, anything, and it goes 50 cents against you, you're down $1,500 before you know what hit you. And that's why I inherit a lot of traders from these penny stock and small cap, scop, small cap gurus who end up damaging their traders' accounts with uh, ill-advised entries. What we want to do is teach you how to trade more carefully with very small size on the front end. I'm all I'm all about quick exits and scanning for the best charts. So that's kind of the the holy grail for me as a trader is I find the very strongest gaps and breakouts, and I'll teach you how to do this combined with initial trades that are so small. If it goes against me, who cares? It's like under fifty hundred dollars stop loss, but I'm trading a dozen, fifteen, twenty different instruments. So I really honestly could care less how any half of my trades work out. It's the other half that work out that I scale into that I care about, and that's what makes the money for me. And as a trader, you need to learn that. Now, in the coaching program, why coaching? Why learn from me? Because, I don't know, I'm a real money trader who proved he can make 800 bucks today green on a freaking sell-off day. All right? I'm, a real, I'm the real deal. But other than that, I'm a former corporate trainer for the Ford Motor Company and Rockwell International and big Fortune 500s. I've got a you see, I'm UCLA graduate. I got dual degrees. I've got a background in professional curriculum design and presentation and trading. And so I can give you world-class training explained step-by-step step in a way that no one else does because I'm the real deal. I'm a real money trader. And I give you my lessons learned in the coaching program, my first one in over three years. So we start off with scanning next Tuesday, October 16th, right? This is the calendar, by the way. We're, we're meeting every Tuesday. If you can't make these events live, don't worry. Never fear. Ken is here. I will give you access to a download area that has the downloadable high-resolution WMV video files in 1920 by 1080 sparkling resolution so you can keep those uh, as well. Anyway, so the curriculum is here, and I'm not going to read all the bullets or anything. Just briefly, 
we look at, and I even talk about each of these topics for a couple of minutes in these quick audio clips I recorded last week. We look at how to find what's worth trading, how to get sharper with your entries and exits. And this is where a lot of traders spend too much time obsessing over your entries. Here's a quick confidence and hopefully profit building tip for you potentially is give a lot more thought to your exits than your entries. The entries don't really matter. I mean, the entries are much less important than you think. You know, for example, you know, I'm long TVIX. Did it matter? Where did I buy this guy? Where did I buy TVIX? I'm curious. Where did I scale in? I don't even remember because I don't care. I care about making money. I don't care about the the Manini, the little tiny details. Let's see. Is TVIX in here? Nope. Anyway, the point is whether or not you bought a 28 or 30 or 35 or 37, who cares? It's in the money, big time. The where you got in is much less important than the where you get out. Now, for example, one thing I noticed is in time and sales, this is giving some back and it's down at 43. So I'll likely start scaling out if we lose the 40 tomorrow, right? But look at time and sales. Queue up time and sales. Okay, now it's a 42. So this is live, real, after post-market trading here in the evening. This guy is way back down here. But that's fine. I know TVIX like the back of my hand. It's a nutty, nutty instrument for experienced traders only. Newer traders might want to trade instruments, like I say, like S-Triple-Q, where the, the point range, if it bites you in the butt, it's not going to hurt as bad, uh, and the trend is directionally very strong. You know, Or if you're trading the gold instruments, whether it's Barrick or Newmont or others that are recently taking out new highs today. It doesn't matter if you buy 1620 or 1650. Get over it. That does not matter. That's irrelevant. Uh, what matters more is avoid false breakouts. We don't buy right above the high because that's likely to run up 10 or 20 cents and then crash and burn. So avoid the false breakouts. I will, I'm an expert in that. I, that's what I do. I, I work to avoid false breakouts and use tight stops. I'll teach you how to do that. So anyway, improving your entries and exits and avoiding false breakouts is part and parcel of that. You'll also learn how to master price action trading. And by price action, we're looking at specific advanced patterns that I've not covered before. Kind of the nuances of how to combine volume, the slope of the line, and just easily get a quick read on, hey, whenever I look at a chart, I don't know about you guys, but I ask myself, is the, the volatility, the trading range sufficient to make the trade worthwhile? Is the point range big enough to make it worth my, wow, can I make money with this chart? Yes or no? And if I can, then great, I'll trade it. And if I can't, I'll leave it alone. And you'll learn how to do price action trading. We're looking at specific price action patterns, price projection, entry areas to trade within, kind of an entry zone approach. And I'll teach you how to do that. Now in week five, we're going to look at trade management. And throughout all of the, everything I teach, like even tonight, you know, it's a lot about trade management. But I want to help you develop a specific game plan on how you can set your initial and your trailing stops how to trade multiple positions. And unlike anyone else that runs a coaching program, I will be using live real money trade examples to illustrate all this stuff, right? What an amazing, unique idea. I'm not some theoretical chart talking wannabe like my competitors. I don't charge $3,000 for coaching like my competitors. I do not say you too can make a fortune overnight like my competitors. I do not say keep a trading journal and talk about how you feel when you take a stop. I don't care, right? like my competitors. All I care about is the money. I'm trying to help you guys figure out the difference between what works and what doesn't and how to start turning around your trading approach in a way that makes sense on your terms, in a way that makes sense for you personally. And as a bonus, because the pot stocks have been hot lately, I thought I'd add a sixth session as well for you. So now I want to thank all of you for asking really smart questions and one of the things, here's a quick advanced tip. A smart question from one of my newly joining members and welcome to the family, Randy. Randy was saying, what's the best manner to judge market direction on the open? This is a screen cap of yesterday, the first eight minutes of the stock market open. Notice please the sequential red candles. And this is something you don't see very often. Usually on the open, if you follow the S&P or if you trade the minis or whatever, 
you notice that oftentimes you get alternating green and red, kind of like Christmas tree or some doji that are uncertain or whatnot. Here we had four red minutes in a row that were consistent and then some flatness and then another red candle. But the point is we had four reds in a row Four minutes of selling pressure in a row is a kind of a poker tell that the market's going to do the mother of all sell-offs, which is why I shorted the market yesterday. All right. Those kind of signs, those kind of things to look for or for swing trading. You know, when you're looking for things, signals in your daily candle patterns, right? We're going to cover both day and swing trades. One of my favorite strategies and take note of this. I'm just giving you, you know, just a quick sample or a taste of the kind of things that you'll be learning about once you join coaching. Whenever a sold off instrument recovers the 50 simple moving average line, that's a first sign that you might want to buy it with an exit target of the 100 simple moving average or tighten in a trailing stop. Because this is a nine and I always sell nines, I would sell, I'd happily sell this at say 1850, take my money and run rebuy only if it gets over 20 say over 20.50 trade it within this range scale in if it gets over the 2350 over the 200 simple moving average but trading within this kind of a highway of gold or whatever which is a good analogy given this is a gold stock uh, trading within these moving average lines or at least using those as decision support tools is one key technical strategy that the type of thing that you want to learn about another thing is Convergence of price with volume. Notice down here, you may have seen my stocks and commodities article where I said if you have three increasing volume days in a row along with price action going up, that's usually a bullish sign. This is a bullish engulfment right here, right? We have a bullish engulfing. This one wraps around that one. For more on candles, learn exclusively from Steve Nissen. He's the only guy you should and want to learn candles from. Everyone else is a freaking copycat. Just like all the momentum breakout guys are copying my strategies. Those of us who've been around for a while, we, we got some expertise. We know what we're talking about. Anyway, the point is when you have convergence of volume to price action, that usually leads to a nice breakout continuation, right? Here's TVIX. Notice how volume is going up three days in a row. We have 90 day new high volume. Do you think somebody knows something? Over 30 million freaking shares, almost 40 million shares today, right? But look at the slope of the, here's a quick example of the type of technical things I'll be teaching you guys. Notice please the volume bars are increasing. Whenever you have convergence or agreement of volume bars going up and price going up like it is here, that's a good thing. And by George, I think he's got it. So I'm going to scale in this puppy where? Where would you guys add to this winning trade? If you were me, Long TVIX, where would you add significant size on this trade? What would be the earliest signal? Where would you, and hint, it's not right above the current high. Where would be the smart, intelligent, professional trader's approach? If, if you guys are my institutional clients, you now is there a walk, a work with the market makers or in a hedge fund show or prop shop in, in you know, downtown in, May, uh, in New York, uh, where would be the scale in? So the current close is 48. The high of today is 52. Where would be the scale in for a swing trade? Now, day trading, I'm with you, Jack. They should go in where you said for a day trade is fine. But for a swing trade, earliest long would be what? Over what I said, the moving average over 56. I'd use 56.50 to scale in. One of the tricks, one of the tips and tricks about scaling in or adding to winning trade is if you add too soon, you have to use much tighter stop loss and you'll get stopped out or shaken out too often. So part of what you'll be learning when you join me, which I hope you all will, because you have my word, you can see, you know, this free training is player level material. I'm smarter than virtually all the, or most of the other educators. And one of the things, I'm a UCLA grad, a former corporate statistician and quality engineer, and a multi-million dollar real proven trader. One of the things that you want to learn from me is how to combine price action with tight stops and strong charts in a way that makes sense. Anyway, how to add to your winning trades. And also what I want to give you is kind of a step-by-step -step start to finish round trip process. And again, I don't have time to be more accurate. I don't want to give away ah, my, my secrets on how to do that in this free event, but I will uh, teach you that once you register and pay up. All right. So pay me, join my thing. It's buy my stuff. It's good. It's all good. Anyway, the point is, 
the trade management boot camp, I'll teach you those kind of nuances of how to scale in. See, a newer trader might go in, say, 52 and a half or 50 to scale in too soon, and then it runs into resistance here, stalls and drops, and that was a bad trade. What you want to do is wait to add to a winning trade till it's after a significant resistance area that institutional or professional traders will use. You can also get at that with things like price projection, you know, things like Fibonacci projections, or I use 50% a lot because we're in a mean reverting market condition. So oftentimes, you know, I will do things like look at the trading range here. I'll give away this one because it's a good, you know, valuable technique that I like to teach you guys good, honest techniques based on 20 years of experience. Look at the length, the height, I should say, of the most recent major big run. Cut that in two, price project that on top. And that's your exit target. So 11 to 15, that's a four point range. Everybody get that? 11 to 15, that's this big range. I want you to cut that in two and stack it on top of the MA line. So the exit target for a trade over, say, 15, not a trade recommendation, but I'll likely go in at 1530, may well be right over 17. It may be a, just a two pointer. But that's a place at which you're faced with a decision. And oftentimes the right decision is to take the money and run. You can always rebuy a new high if it keeps going. Or if it shows no sign of slowing down, I will instead flip to a position sizing approach and double down on my trade. You know, if I did say just, I don't know, say 30 shares here or 30 shares here on the breakout, I'll add another 30 shares up here and then Martingale up another 60 shares once it breaks the 20 and so forth. So. That type of approach where you're scaling in consistently time after time makes a lot of sense. When you're looking at these charts, like this guy, I'm trading AMRN. What a gapper. This had been a $3 stock. It ran to a gap to 10. It doubled to 20. It's on fire. AMRN. That's an interesting chart. One thing that you have to do, I guess it brings me to a topic that I told you guys in the email I would cover tonight is trading volatile markets. When you're trading volatile markets, you don't want to go it alone. You absolutely are going to get killed if you try and trade the current markets by yourself or with people that don't know what they're talking about or people that would have you absorb too much upfront risk by trading thousands of shares of penny stocks. You're not going to become a next millionaire trader. Sorry to break it to you, most likely. Uh, you're going to be a broke-ass trader if you try and trade thousands of shares up front on anything. So don't be that trader. Stop the madness. There's got to be a better way. Like Mr. Wonderful on Shark Tank would say, look at your money, your capital like soldiers. You don't want to send them out there to get slaughtered. You want to have them come back and with some captives, right? With some additional money, right? That's You put your money to work as a trader. What I want you to do is watch Shark Tank. It's a great TV series. But in addition, uh, and the profit's also good, but kind of complimentary type of series. But the point is, in our current markets, you want to trade volatility by doing it correctly with the right charts, with the right patterns, and I'll teach you those patterns. And not just chart patterns. Chart pattern training alone doesn't work. How many of you have bought a new breakout because it looks like a nice classic ascending triangle or cut pattern breakout only to get stopped out and then it runs without you? We've all done that, been there, got the t-shirt. So avoiding false breakouts by using a safety buffer. And I'll teach you how to use safety buffers in current volatile markets, which is an especially valuable technique because kind of the the generic tip is you have to use a wider safety buffer. So, you know, instead of waiting for, say, 21 on this chart, I might wait till 2150 or even 2170 before buying this guy or shorting this thing. Instead of going short right under 1650, I might wait for 1550 because of the point range. And when you're looking at trading volatile instruments in a hot market, you've got to use a risk management strategy that makes sense. And I'll teach you how to do that. But do the math on the charts. You always want to be keenly aware of where the money is. What are the charts that are most likely to either screw you so you stay away from them or make you money and so you want to go on the first date, right? There's probably some off-color jokes in there somewhere, but I won't go there. The point is what you want to do as a trader is be more aware, be more situationally aware. Like my friends in law enforcement would say, I've got friends at LEOs and, and military, and you always want to be situationally aware. And as a trader, you know, I've got your six, I've got your flank, I've got your 
I've got your nine and your three, your flank, I got your six, and, and I've got your 12. And we want to avoid the tangos in a hot LZ. We want to instead get in on a great chart that's going to work out for us and make us money. But we have to do it intelligently. And having an intelligent step-by-step -step approach to do it the right way is what I'm going to cover for you in the coaching. So that's kind of what I wanted to talk about. Hopefully, you know, if nothing else, I'm giving you guys some good charts to think about, right? Dust got dusted. I bought a little bit here on the close today because, you know, Ken, why in the heck would you, why why in the heck would you buy it? I trade extremes, but itty bitty shares. If it proves me wrong, so so whoop. It's like 10 or 20 shares. I don't care. Uh, but if it does pivot back in, this is the inverse gold ETF. The range on this puppy is 41 to 31. That's why I bought a little bit because I thought 10 points, really? That's a little bit extreme. It may well come back to life. And if it does, the initial trade still isn't going to make me rich or anything. I'll scale in or double down on that trade if it continues to bounce in my favor. Or in Barrick, if I get in this guy and it keeps going up, that's kind of an arbitrage approach. You play both sides of the fence, right? That's another advanced strategy you'll be learning in the coaching program. I used to do this with the inverse and the straight ETFs all the time as well. You know, like the nugget. Nugget is up. JNUG is up, dust is down. They're opposite chart patterns. There's a way to trade those in a way designed to make money by scaling into the ones that, that do continue in your favor with a long bias. Everything I'll be teaching, by the way, is with a long trading bias because you can trade like I'm trading, like I'm trading like a champion, things like this. I never get invited to the trading championships, by the way. I'm like the only guy, I never get, the, I'm the guy who doesn't get the call. Uh, I get call. I, I get the call from the institutional traders and the retail traders who want to learn how to trade, but nobody wants to trade against me. Gee, I wonder why. Just saying. It's true. I've never been invited to participate in a trading championship in my life because I know I would kick their butts up and down the street. So ah, just saying. I'm the guy you don't want to trade against. I'm the guy you want to trade with. I'm the mechanic. I'm the pool. I'm the pool shark. I'm the hustler. I'm the guy who knows how to do this. Let's do this thing. This is an example of what my colleague Steve Nelson would call a change in polarity. You got previous resistance, a cut pattern breakout, found support, previous resistance becomes new support, and we're up, up, and away. What I like to teach is how to trade the windows or the gap continuations, right? The breakout is the first sign of a good move because you can always tighten in a trailing stop to just under support. What I like to look for is multi-day highs. I like to buy strength above whole numbers. So a good trigger for me would be, say, 13.20, 13.30. Next trigger, we don't want to buy right under 15, like right here. Despite its meteoric run up, a pretty nice run up from 12 and a half to just under 15. Pretty healthy. Two points on a low teen price stock is not too bad. But I want to wait for it to get over 15. Anyway, that's kind of my thinking. Sorry if I digress into charts, but I'm a trader. I, I trade a lot and so i you know it's it's my life is the charts and the money i hope that i can help you become more successful in your trades I hope that it rubs off right you know i got so many thousands of folks who've trusted me and thanks to all of you for this is really fascinating to read all the questions i like this thing from nan say no silly videos on the page okay i don't have any video on the page i used to do a lot of videos but now i like to just teach you with uh, p l screen caps of real trades. By the way, does that help, by the way, you guys, this small ball approach? This is from a couple of days ago, but showing you, look at the share size. They're real small, but there's a lot of them. That embodies the whole trade small, trade often concept, right? And I was still up 1200 bucks. That was, what, yesterday? Ha. Huh. This is from 11 hours ago. Real money trades I put in, and they're all small. So I don't care if half of them or even all of them don't work out because it's so small on the front end, it's not going to bite me in the butt if I'm wrong. That's one thing that is the most valuable technique I will teach you is how to scale, scan, set your entries, position size, and scale up. Because I expect half of these aren't going to work out. That's fine. That's par for the course. Even more than half. I don't care. All I care about is making money out of the whole set of trading activities. So, you know, maybe I buy 40 shares and I get filled, 
then I buy another 40 shares, then I double down again and buy 80 shares, then I buy 160 shares, and by the time all said and done, I'm in 500 deep, but not until I'm playing with the house's money. You only trade large when you're in the money and you're playing with the house's money. That's another very, very valuable, critically important, strategically for the rest of your life. Remember I said that, important. You have my word, I'm telling you honestly, it's very important. So that's why you have to start off small and be patient. Let the trades grow, like planting seeds in a garden. And half the seeds don't sprout, well, so what? The ones that do sprout, those are the ones you, you water and give sunlight to and attention to. And in my case, I buy more shares, right? So I think that helps. And I'm happy. You know, I'm up 800 today. I was up 1,200 yesterday on two sequential days when a lot of you guys are like, in the tank and going, crap, I'm up $2,000 in two days, all right? By the way, how many of you agree that it's probably a good idea for me to continue to focus on showing you examples of real money wins and stops? I show you the good, the bad, and the ugly, but I'm the real deal, and I'm not advocating a risky approach like competitors do, saying trade thousands of shares out of the gate, because that's going to... I would really like to see the penny stock and cheap stock guys explain how you avoid upfront risk. And it's not education to learn the patterns. No, that's not it, Sparky. The, and you know it just like I do it. The truth is it's a numbers game. And so you, your numbers have to be really tiny in terms of your risk on the front end. Ask any Wall Street trader. They'll tell you something. Of course, they, they trade bigger size. But that's the thought. Running out of voice here and getting so excited. It's good stuff. Look at my YouTube videos. Like yesterday's 4,000 view one on how I made 1,200. Read some of the questions and my answers. I put in, you know, good, honest answers here for everybody. <coughs> and I appreciate all of you for asking good questions. It makes this page infinitely more interesting to me and likely the world's traders too, to have a community of like-minded traders, you know, sharing your guys' thoughts. So it's not just me. I don't like being, you know, the, the role of the, the guru coming down off the mountain, spreading the pearls of wisdom to the masses kind of thing. It's much more about the market's hard as F to trade, and we've got to band together as a team and a community. And that's why I'm, I'm grateful to all of you for having helped me build this community over the last 20 years of like-minded, intelligent, sensible, active traders they are trying to figure this this big freaking puzzle out. Because it's a big multivariate math puzzle. That's what it is, with pictures to illustrate, right? But it's a big math puzzle. That's what trading is. And you're trying to figure out how to scale. <coughs> and all of you have been with me for over 10 years and all the rest of it. I learned from other good, smart people, too. You know, it's, I hope it helps. So that's me, half an hour. I don't have much else to say. And some questions coming in. One thing that we're going to cover that makes this different from what I've done before, too, is that you're going to be learning with interactive quiz charts. So we'll be doing a lot of, and you don't have to answer, but at least think about the answer when I'll say, you know, say if you were long S, like for example, let's say you were long S triple Q, where would you trail a stop? Let's say you're long, I don't know, 100 shares, 200 shares. Where would you trail a stop? And where would you build the trade? Where would you add to the trade? And there's no right or wrong answers, but it's interesting to see what people say. And I like to use whole numbers. So say if it loses the 13 under 1280, might be a good initial stop value, you know. Or build the trade going north of, say, 1550 or so to add to a winning trade if it keeps going up. And either way, you work out the trade the right way. And so we're going to be doing interactive quiz charts and activities designed to teach you how to improve your personal pattern recognition and trade management skills. So these events that we're going to be doing together, these hour-long events are not going to just be me talking constantly because I don't want to hear myself talk all the time. I want to hear you guys post questions and comments and interactive. So it's very much an interactive professional uh, place where you can go to learn, kind of like a learning lab, a safe beta testing or learning lab environment where you can get the kind of questions, where would you enter this chart? And also one thing that I think is going to be especially valuable to, me, to you once you register, which you all will, right? I'm expecting all of you to register. You should. It's a hell of a good deal, the price. If you scroll down and look at the price, 
it includes a half hour phone call with me. Or if you want, you can substitute the phone call for a downloadable course, you know, up to a couple hundred bucks. Either way, uh, but uh, the half hour is uh, half hour is like what we've just covered. It's a long time, and you have plenty of time to ask questions about actual trades that you took stops and then how to fix them, how to get earlier exits. Uh, should you have been trading that stock in the first place? and get answers to find and fix and troubleshoot what ails you as a trader. And I'm the guy who's traded millions of dollars worth of stocks with the experience under his belt to help you at least benefit from the lessons learned. And all the screw ups and all the successes I made and everything along the road, you know. Anyway, another valuable tip here, what I, I'm not gonna read this, but it's just the early exits. I wanna coach you, you folks to, it's one of my biggest aha moments as a trader that really helped me start turning things around Back uh, back in the day was to exit trade sooner rather than later. One of my traders, Mira, had even mentioned that's a frustration to her that she gets frustrated. She exits early and leaves money on the table. I say you're still in the you're still in the right direction there because it's much smarter to exit early because a vast majority of the time uh, that would have been the right exit. Right? It's in my best trades are often did I did I really get out of the trade that soon? Really? And it may keep going up a little bit further and then it crashes and burns. And yeah, I, duck, I dodged a bullet. I made my profit and I didn't sacrifice it or take a stop because I got out sooner rather than later. And so I'm going to teach you how to do early exits for both swing and trade trades. It's a question from Peter. Is this for day or swing trading? Both. We'll be covering. I'm glad you asked. That's in. Thanks, Peter. It's, uh, we're going to be covering many examples of both trading styles for you. I would say it's going to be more heavily geared towards swing trading, maybe 60, 70 percent swing trades, 30 percent intraday. There's something there for everyone, and you will be learning with me exactly what to look for. So I put a lot of work into this, as you can tell. You know, I've given it a lot of thought. I've tried to get the most valuable bang for the buck. And, you know, if I were in your shoes, what would I want to be learning? And again, it includes a 30-minute personal call with me. And the plan details are at the bottom of the site. The deadline to enroll is just a few days away. Our first session is coming up next Tuesday at 5 o'clock East Coast time. So do be sure to get your orders in at least by Monday. And then at that time, you'll see that you know this offer is now closed and there won't be any other uh, enrollments accepted. So do give it some thoughts, sleep on it, or, or just register. Now is fine. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the sessions coming up. But you have my word, I'm going to work very hard for you. Another thing that it includes is you can send me a couple of emails each week during the six weeks uh, and get personal answers from me. Or if you'd prefer, what I would prefer, and I was giving you, I was giving this some thought, you guys let me know what you think. If you have an email question, I would rather just record an audio answer and kind of attach the audio MP3 file and give that to you. That way I can, it's less, how to say it's, more content and less work for me. It takes me, it's a hassle to type out long answers. And if I can read out the answer or tell you the answer, I can give you more content than I would if I were just texting you back with an email. So it's up to you either way, but uh, I will be answering your questions. I'll be talking to you on the phone. We can schedule that anytime later this year or early next year if you want, there's no rush, but you get me on the phone for half an hour. And I charge a lot for that normally. So that's a, that's a very valuable rare bonus I don't do that much anymore. I haven't offered that as a bonus in three years because my time, my schedule is really busy, as you might imagine. Anyway, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. I hope that this has given you some food for thought and that you'll be able to join us in our Trade Mastery Success Coaching. It's not two or $3,000. It's not disappointingly basic crap like and fluff like you see elsewhere. I'm a mechanic. I'm the real deal. I'm the guy who actually really trades with proof successfully today, you know, kind of thing. So hopefully that'll help. Oh well, yeah, let me answer questions too. But do you guys see the the sense, the sensibility and the smartness of the kind of approach that you want to take as a trade? You want to find charts that are likely to make you money and then trade them more correctly. I see a question from Chris, a lot of questions now. Hey, Steve, Nugget looks good. I'm going to buy new highs. I haven't decided whether I'm just going to do. I like Barrick because you get the same chart pattern for half the money, right? So I also like GDX for the same reason. That's like in the middle.
but these are all three strong charts. Historically, I've traded GDX. The Newmont looks good. It's a little pricey, though, at 30 a share. I like the ABX chart. It's only 11 a share, and you get the same percentage type of volatility. That's the kind of edge that I like to teach traders. You know, why trade a chart that costs more? <clears throat> You can get an identical chart pattern or close to it uh, for less than half the price, right? Those kind of things can really make a difference over the long haul in your trades. Question from Chris, is the bloodbath over or more bleeding to come? I don't know. I don't predict. I react, but I'll tell you how I react. Most of my money short the market, so I'll let that tell you what I think, but uh, I never predict because when I do, I'm almost invariably wrong. So professional traders don't predict. Talking heads on TV predict. Well, with bond yields doing this and trade war of China and blah, 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 blah. Who cares? All we care about is price action and money. That's a trader talking. I'm a trader is what I do. I'm not an analyst. I don't get all gussied up and get on financial news TV and say, look at this wave extension and next support would be here and blah, blah, blah. I'm not an analyst. The four, first four letters of that word tell what I think about those guys. What I care about is money. I care about price action. I care about trade management. I care about traders getting things right and overcoming your personal troubles and hassles that you run into as a trader and substituting what you've been doing, you know, with more effective strategies. Now, this is not for people that want hand holding and for somebody to, you know, give you warm, fuzzy, oh, that's too bad you took a stop. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's, uh, I'm not that guy. I'm, I'm the guy to teach you how to trade. So, And a thanks, yeah. Uh, point from Barry, I had two of the top five articles in Stocks and Commodities. Harvey's uh, asking confirmation that you signed up. Uh, sure, I will double check on that for you. We get a lot of people sign up for this lately. So if you, if for any reason, by the way, if for any reason you have a question for me, please do not email me, especially, I know I remember you've got an AOL, uh, use the support, just click on the support thing and say, hey, Ken, what about this? Because that answer will get through to you. So. I'm pretty sure you're in. Let me double check the registration list. There's so many people registering, I'm trying to keep up with everything. Uh, yeah, yeah, Harvey, I do have you there. I'm going to resend your confirmation email as we speak. How's that for customer service? So I just had go to webinar resend that to you just now. So check your spam and trash folders, uh, and if you still don't see it, contact me at the support ticket. But yeah, you're in. I will be sending all of you your individual, all of you register your individual login and passwords for the download area, so you can download the video recordings of the weekly sessions as well. In case you don't feel like showing up live, or just for your reference, you'll be able to download and keep that forever as well. Hey, Don, I'm not, not sure you're talking about with the. Yeah, Louise is saying a good point. They don't explain risk at all. Yeah, isn't that true? The talking heads don't freaking ever talk about stop losses. Not part of their conversation. What do they expect? That's why so many people lose their, their money in the markets because they don't use any kind of stops. Uh, you know, one of my colleagues, uh, Harry Boxer, is a great guy to learn from too. Uh, I had asked him a question when we did a webinar together. Harry, what's the number one mistake that you find traders make? And he said, trading without stops. And I would say, amen to that. I agree with that. A lot of traders trade without stops or they trade with stops that are way too big. You know, and you'll learn the difference uh, between how to trade with correct stops. So you're right. Question from Valentin about why some of the orders from yesterday show status have opened. Because that's when I screen capped and uploaded them. If I were to screen cap like right now, the ones that got filled would be filled. So, yeah, oftentimes, uh, that's a good question. Hey, you guys can keep an eye on my Twitter feed. 
So this was 11 hours ago, which was, see, look at that, 11 hours, Valentina, 11 hours ago. So these are orders I put in at 7.30 in the morning. All right, so that's timestamp proof, but these orders I put in earlier. Once they get filled, I mean, I guess I could go back and screen cap what's gotten filled today after the bell too, but these I like to give people heads up on what I'm doing ahead of time. So that's the reason why it doesn't show as filled is because I posted this 11 hours ago before the open at 7.30, so. This one I canceled. I remember canceling the S triple Q today, which I think was a good idea because it turns out it ran up to just over the 14.8 and pulled back. So. so that's not the up to the minute current one from after the, the close today. It just as kind of a courtesy, I thought I'd start uploading some of these things for you guys. So, All right, what else? Oh, sure thing, Harry. Uh, all right, I think that's about it. Anyways, I hope that that makes the case for why this, why now. A half hour with me on the phone uh, phone call can alone be, I, uh, I charge almost the cost of the coaching program just for that a la carte by itself, by the way, if you look at my coaching pricing. So you do get me on a rare half hour call. And if you want, we can make that a private go-to webinar and I can record it for you and send you the video if you'd like instead of a coaching call or whatever. So we can get on the phone or we can get on a, Go to webinar and go over charts of your choice together. That's just you and me. These are, it's it's a private thirty minute coaching call, and I have not offered that bonus for years. So, that alone makes this seriously worth thinking about. Because think of all the questions. And by the way, I answer questions quickly and effectively, and very briefly in bullet point. I don't drag it on. Uh, so if you have a quick uh, on the coaching calls, uh, I, I answer especially quickly to be sensitive of the time. So you can pack in, you know, a few dozen questions in that time. We can go over a couple dozen charts together in the half hour that you've got with me in the coaching call. Plus, you get six webinars. And these, these I know these kind of sound like general topics, but we're going to be covering advanced techniques from a volatility trading standpoint. And again, all using current chart patterns. No PowerPoints. It's all, you know, looking over my shoulder at a trader's workstation and what you need to know to trade. So anyways, thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate you taking time out of your life to be with me. I work my ass off for everybody and I hope that it makes a difference. I hope it counts, right? If it's like my dad says, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing right. And I completely agree. So uh, hopefully this is the kind of program that I would want. It's not a two or $3,000 investment. It's under a thousand. It's a very good value. It's an exceptional value because I'm a money show speaker and a stocks and commodities author and a, a famous hoo-ha who's been around for 20 years. So I should be charging the two or 3,000 like my competitors do, but I like to make this, I make it up on volume. And so many of you registered already, so thank you. Uh, and again, if you have any questions, hit me up with the support ticket by just, I don't know, clicking support. What an amazing idea. Put in your first name, email address, and I will answer your question. So. Anyways, you guys take care and trade smart. Make it work. I guess there there was one one final PowerPoint slide, a call to action slide. I've got 20 years experience with millions of dollars of live trading experience. The focus is on you, how to help you get better fast. The thing that I can bring to the table to help you is I've got skill in helping troubleshoot main thing is that as a former corporate Fortune 500 consultant, I used to help big companies solve problems, operations management or quality management or whatever problems they had uh, in the trading community. Similarly, I like to help troubleshoot, kind of like going, bring your, your bad trades to a doctor and getting a diagnosis and, and the cure or the fix. Uh, uh, how do you make before and after changes? So, you know, for example, you might say, hey, Ken, I tried to trade uh, you know, I don't know, say I tried to trade, uh, I don't know, the spiders on a breakout, but I got stopped out. What should I have done differently? Well, you maybe shouldn't have traded that instrument in the first place, uh, but where did you trade it? And they'll tell me and I'll say, okay, well, do you see how the volume was too light where you got in? The volume was lighter. That's one red flag. And also it was inside a previous day's trading range, which is another red flag. So but that kind of dialogue, you know, so we go over things that can help you fix your trading and a very personalized approach and professional level help. So you go to trademasterycoaching.com. That will forward you over to this page.
at trademastery.com forward slash success formula. And I hope it helps. You know, you do have a few days left to enroll. So take action. I'd love to see you there. You do have my sincere word and my sincere thank you for those who've registered so far. And a big turnout so far. So thanks to all of you. And if you're not yet registered, give it some thought. You know, I'm a guy who can make a difference in, in what you're doing. So I read all the comments and the testimonials and long ass list of stuff here, which is great to read, right? Smart questions too. So anyway, I'll see you guys in the success uh, coaching program. Take care. Best wishes. We got a wild market right ahead. It's a great time to be a trader because of the volatility, right? It's a smart, active trader. You know, do the math on how much money you could make in these charts if you're on the right side of them. Like I am recently, right? What charts? What runs? Even just 100 shares would be up, you know, over 1,000. So anyway, you guys take care. Sign up for coaching. I will see you next time. Until next time, you know, trade smart, trade small. Trade with passion or at least with integrity and honor and discipline and focus and itty bitty super tight stops and ridiculously small trades on the front end because you want to throw those darts at the market the smart way. The stupid way is to buy a thousand shares on a magic indicator and hope it works. That Occasionally you'll, you'll get it right, but more often than not, you'll get stopped out and you get into that death spiral in your trading account where the equity goes down over time where you get small wins and bigger stops. And to avoid that, you need to trade the right charts the right way with small initial size and make a scanning and trade management approach process from start to finish that works for you. So join me for coaching. I'm Ken Calhoun. You have my word. And, my, you know, thank you for registering. And you have my word. It'll be great training. So take care. And I will see you guys next time. Oh, thanks. And let's see. I will. Um, Yes, I will. I am recording this. I will get the. GoToWebinar will send you a video link to the download of today's session sometime by tomorrow. So uh, be on the lookout for that, and I'll see you guys next time.